dressed a hell of a lot more conservatively today. Uh, because you can't pigeonhole me, as I have frequently said throughout my entire life. I won't say throughout my regrettable life, like I like to say. My friends don't like that. By the way, my friends, my good friends, like Lord's Blue's Blood, can vouch for me. I didn't want to take Omar from Donald and his mom, Hope. His mother's name's Hope. Donald Wood, Hope Wood. I didn't want to take Omar. I wanted those two, that mother-son duo, to prove worthy of Omar. To see Omar as more than some creature there for, you know, who's, who was merely there for their pleasure and enjoyment. And doesn't matter what they do, you know? I mean, if you're not going to take the poor dog to the vets ever, then at least, you know, buffer the situation by letting him eat his dry dog food and limit his people food when you know his my teeth are rotting out of his skull. Nope, can't do that. And Donald won't put his foot down with mommy because he needs mommy, even though he doesn't really give shit about mommy. Um, hence the reason that when I was seeing back in LA, when I was at the Santa Monica OPCC, they, um, they were wondering if maybe Donald was, you know, committing elder abuse against his mom. I said, yeah, probably, but she turned on me, so I can't really care about her like I used to, you know. Um, anyway. And Donald, his, his breath smells. We need to get something to, to fi fix his breath. He pees everywhere. We, we, you know, blaming me and his mom, even though he, Donald Wood, won't get the dog neutered, okay? Um, shall I go on? The flea thing. I told Donald, don't order the stupid stuff off of eBay. He does it anyway. And then for six months, he was being, the house was being infested by fleas. He, you know, he was being, Donald himself was being eaten by fleas. And he would never admit, you know, yeah, I shouldn't order it off eBay. Shall I go on? The dog was getting a little heavy, but not anywhere near, you know. I, I just, I saw Omar's future, you know. I hope would not stop, Don's mom would not stop feeding Omar crap, even though Omar's teeth were rotting out of his skull. And yeah, it might take another five years, but then the poor dog, you know, I, they, if they don't take him to the vets, they were never going to take him to the vets. Not to mention the fact that she was going to leave one of, one of these days. She would constantly talk about leaving. Her son treated her like shit. If he's, she's still with him, he still treats her like shit. Okay? And she does all kinds of things for him. She cooks for him, gives him rides, gives him money, everything. And he treats her like crap. Okay? For whatever reason, as my caseworker now says, you know. Um, you're not a therapist, Laura, and they pit you in the middle of each other. But without Omar to buffer that situation, I can guarantee you, it, if it hasn't already, it will eventually implode or explode. I really don't care. I feel I didn't want to take Omar. I wanted those two to prove worthy of him. I wanted them to respect my legitimate concern for my own dog's health and safety. And Donald wouldn't. He'd walk him through alleyways at night, even though I begged him not to and cried. He, he, his stupid window, you know, thing, whatever, had fallen once. Does he fix it to make sure it doesn't fall again? No. The poor dog ran downstairs one day. Um, and I heard, like, oh, shit, whatever. And then the poor dog ran downstairs. Could have crushed him. Donald just, oh, I have Omar, you know. And then one of these days, if something happened to him, oh, well, these things happen. I'm sure Donald would have cried, you know. He's not crying for the dog. He's crying for him fucking self, okay? He's crying for him fucking self. Donald is a selfish, controlling bastard. Cheap, selfish, controlling bastard. I'm lucky I didn't wind up a vegetable at his hand. I'm lucky I didn't wind up dead. And the fact that I don't even consider it luck. Uh, I should tell you something. What those two people did to me. Um, they didn't deserve Omar. I wish I could be with Omar. Maybe I can in the future. I can't right now. My mom loves him to death. My mom's taking care of him. Um, and she loves him. I did not want to take him from his daddy and grandmama. I wanted them to prove worthy of him. And they never did. They never did. I don't even know what you call that. Pissed off at the dog for, for spraying everywhere. Refused to get him neutered. Um, 
we're going to cover up the problem of his bad breath instead of recognizing. And even when Donald came in to like $1,200 extra on his credit card, and I said to Donald, I said, oh, you have, I said it tentatively, sh you know, softly, you have that money, you know, why don't you take Omar to, oh, Lord, why don't you save up and take him? He, he did, they didn't love the dog, they loved the dog, loved them. My mother genuinely loves this dog. She says he's a good boy. She values him as a creature that deserves, you know, you don't just use up some uh, an animal. You don't just use up an animal. And that's what I saw Donald and his mom doing, although they would vehemently deny it. And like Donald said to the judge, you know, he said to the judge, oh, because he didn't want the judge to grant my restraining order request for a year to extend the one month one. And he's like, oh, she just makes a big deal out of nothing. She's ridiculous. Blah, 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 whatever. He didn't give a fuck. The judge saw right through Donald's bullshit and lies, okay? Um, I just wanted to know that Omar was was safe and, and being well taken care of. I didn't see Donald and his mom doing that, and I gave him a long time. I gave them a long time to be worthy of my dog. Never. I was shit in their eyes. I've sh been shit in most people's eyes my entire fucking regrettable life, so... You know, whatever. 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 My next video, I'm gonna show pictures. And, um... I'm gonna... What am I gonna title the video? I don't know, something like... I don't know. I'm, I'm real, so... I'm gonna show you pictures of me at my heaviest weight and at almost my thinnest weight. My thinnest weight was actually 153 and I maintained that maybe for two weeks. But I maintained 164 pounds for, for a while, between 160, you know, fluctuate a little bit like anybody, 160, 163, 4, 5, you know, but I maintained that for years. I maintained that weight because I wanted to be that weight, not rocket science. I wanted to look like that, not rocket science. People do it. Famous and non-famous alike. Stars and regular folk do it. Um, it ain't easy, and that's why most people can't do it, but whatever. Omar's okay. I can't ever see him very often, I mean, I, you know, but he's okay. And besides the fact that what Donald and Hope are doing, they didn't deserve him just for what they did to me that night. She watched him choke me and she said nothing, you know. Acted like, if, for that alone, I don't care what I did. I don't care if I robbed you house for crack money, you know. Or, I mean, whatever, if I didn't hurt. But, you know, you don't, like in the past. You know, not that I was busy doing it or whatever, but, you know what I mean, you don't, what, but I didn't do that, you know, I just, I just had the audacity to complain about how her treatment of Omar, their, you know, their treatment, because he enabled his mom to, to, you know, they didn't care what I had to say, nothing, all my legitimate concerns, just, oh, she's shit and we don't have to listen to her, horrible way they treated me. Scarred for life because of it. Seriously, scarred for life. Um, my aunt's still sick. My mom says she's been feeling bad. I really, I need to write to my aunt. I need to, but I can't let her die without me telling her how she hurt me. But I'll start the letter with, I'm sorry you're sick. You think, you think I didn't, don't love you? You think I didn't cry when my mom told you, Mia, you had cancer? What am I supposed to do? I came back my 2009 summer of hell where none of you cared if I lived, died, was on the streets, whatever. You know, and, um, and Hope, Tom's mom just said, don't worry about them, Lord. They're not important. Only your mom matters. You got to forget about them. So that's what I did for survival. I can't go around crying over you people. You know, I can't go crying over them. Not Marion, of course. She can bleep off a bridge for all I care. Wouldn't cry at all. If she had cancer, if she died, I would not cry at all. But the rest of them, yeah, I would. Do anything to cause her pain, you know, to cause her physical pain, emotional pain. 
love story. Um, but I also wouldn't care. She means nothing to me. Nothing. Nothing. But the other family, the cousins and the of the mom who's who might die of cancer, she's pancreatic cancer like Patrick Swayze. Yeah, them I care about. Even if they don't care about me. Marion, no. Cunt of a fucking Aunt Marion, no. Do not give one flying fuck what happens to her or her, or her family or anything. Do not care. Do not care. Donald's mom 100% believes that Marion would kill me if Marion thought she could get away with it. I don't believe Marion would give one flying fuck if anything happened to me, and I feel the same way about her.